In this episode of Create Colonies, we build a residential district in our town, add a ton more Create Mod power, and automate all the essential metals. Hey everybody, welcome back to Create Colonies. And today, we're actually starting off at the uh, the old mob farm uh, because I wanted to, um, you know, get, get, get some grinding in on it, make sure we were AFK for at least, you know, an hour and a bit. And we got a ton of experience a ton of gunpowder and a bunch a bunch of other stuff which is just which is just amazing but we're not going to be sticking around here for long because uh we got some stuff to do back at the colony we got to get this building sorted out this building has got to get done and kike is the one to do it let's make sure he's actually getting what he needs to to do this building because i need it done asap it, we we there, there's another section of it. And we're gonna have to upgrade that as soon as as soon as it's done. So let's see. He needs art. He needs the archery thing, carved pumpkins. A bunch of this is already done. Makes life so. Oh my gosh. This is, who makes who makes hay bales? Our colony can make hay bales, or did we just have hay bales? I don't know. Levers, levers. The mechanic can definitely do levers. Mr. Llama, this is not. This is not the best place for you to be. Don't spit on anything in here, okay? It's a sterile environment. All right, the mechanic. I heard that. Good, good. White bed. Again, this is another thing. This is another thing we really, really need to figure out, which is I need, I need, I need a place for sheep. I need to put, I need to put a, a sheep's hut down. And I'm pretty sure it's going to go over here somewhere, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Hopefully today we will get around to it. We're kind of running low on compost, and we actually do have two composters over here, though I don't think they actually... I think that these are kind of too far away to operate correctly, and that's kind of why they don't produce all that much. Maybe it's also just because... Man, this looks terrible. Did they just not put the floor in? Why, why is this like this? I don't get it. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. This is not... This is an unfinished project, guys. This is a completely unfinished project. What kind of... This is a joke. Mm. Who built this? You're going you're going straight to HR. You're going straight to the HR department and we're going to we're going to discuss what what <laughs> what your job description <laughs> should be <laughs> or something. We're going to do wheat seeds. What else? There's not really a lot that the colony has in terms of like waste products. Actually, you know what? Rotten flesh is a really good one because we can actually um, we can actually provide our colony with a lot of rotten flesh. I would use the post office for that, but I don't think I really need to, to be honest, because it's just like this is not a trip I'm going to be doing very often. And maybe I'm just being lazy. OK, fine. I'm just being lazy. All right. Sue me. Sue me. I can be lazy. It's my it's 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 my video. OK, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Everything for the colony does not have to go through the post office. God dang it. It's too much effort. And I got stuff to do today. There we go. Bunch of the gross stuff. The other thing I wanted to check on is... Oh, yes. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. This fixed itself. Some... Somehow. Uh, we're going to have to rebuild this home here. And while we're at it, I think we're going to build a few more homes. Now, I need to figure out what this road's going to look like. Nice. Now we've got this whole section of road here laid out and it makes uh, some sense. It kind of it kind of works. All this comes down here and goes across the front of this. We've got this road coming down here, which is going through our broken chunk, our very unfortunate broken chunk. This house too. look, 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 check this out. Check this out. Yeah, we got Bobby, Junglefield and Lemoncello all just standing here. They're living in the town hall because their house got freaking destroyed. Great to see you. I'd really like a house to live in. Yeah, I bet you would. I bet you would. That looks perfect. Nice. I've actually got a few other buildings to build today and they're all gonna go right over here, right across this area. So this whole area, we're gonna have six more houses going down over here. Just like over here, we're basically just copying what we did here, putting it right here. Well, let's make sure our farmer knows how to make tall grass so that we don't have to make it last resort. What? Why, why, why are my colonists eating rotten flesh? 
They don't need to. Interesting. I hand the I hand the colony rotten flesh for like a day, and all of a sudden they're they're eating they're eating it. And I don't feel like they need to eat it, but they just do it. That was not that was not my fault. You cannot blame me for it, okay? If you want to eat rotten flesh on your own on your own time, on your own free time, it's on you, all right? Nobody 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 sue me because I provided the colony with rotten flesh. Okay? That's you know what? That's what we need in this in this colony. We need a lawyer. Now that we've got these builds down, we can actually start to think about how this is going to work itself out. We can put a few things over here, and I think what I want to go here is some shepherd's huts. I think, you know what? I think that actually works right there. Aha, a rabbit hutch. That would be nice. Ah, partially outside of the colony. Oh, great. Um, that means we're gonna need a guard tower here somewhere. Maybe tucked right in here. Maybe across these buildings back here. This will work. All right, guard tower one, guard tower two. Sweet. Cool, this uh, section of land is really starting to come together. I need honey bottles, and it looks like I'm gonna have to create some kind of contraption in order to uh, make that. Maybe we'll do this like here. There we go, now we have a little system here that allows us to uh, essentially kind of fill a spout with something, spit it out onto an item. So we can we can do we can do a bunch of, we could make potions with this, but uh, what I wanna do right now is make some honey bottles. Wait, what? How the heck do I get honeycomb? How the heck do I turn honeycomb into liquid honey? But I can't make honey bottles without honey blocks. This doesn't seem right. Oh, uh-oh. Southwest. There they are. They're coming. They're coming. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. I'll be back. Yeesh, man. Back. Yeah, get them. Get them. Good work. Thank you very much for the help, for the assist on that one. I was gonna die. Um, all right, all right, back to this honey bottle problem. I might have to go all the way back over to where my bees originally were, and it might be a good idea for me to take some of these cages here and actually, like, bring back a bunch of bees, because unfortunately our apiary seems to want to murder bees all the time. All right, we're back. The year coming with me. I want mostly full-size bees! No, why are they mad? You're all gonna die now! It's very sad, I didn't... Fine, sting me. Sting me and die. I wonder if they're mad if I let them go. They are! Oh my goodness! That's a problem. Maybe sometime, maybe sometime later we'll build like an apiary, like my own specific apiary, so I can actually like keep bees alive, because it seems like our colonists just suck at that. Or maybe it's because our apiary was level one before. No, you're mad! No! That's a mad bee. No, what?! Well, that's a dead bee now. You've got to be kidding me! Why are they so- why are they aggro? What am I supposed to do? How do I unmad a bee? Will bees just endlessly hold a grudge? Is that how the bees work? I don't know. And what I do know though, is that I'm having a seriously, seriously hard time getting- getting bees to be- to- to work in my apiary. It's very annoying. Uh, bullseye. Is that our- is that the archery? The archery is done? Nice. We have our combat academy and our archery academy. Okay, uh, I also know I think I'm pretty sure I want to cap this end here with a few homes as well uh, Not sure exactly how that's going to look just yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait a bit for everybody to get their builds sorted out uh, Guys, we got we got some serious work done um, we're, we're gonna have a lot more housing. We're gonna have space for like 12 more colonists um, And then after that we're finally gonna be getting our plantation down which has taken it's taken us way too long to get to that point There's also something else that I want to do down in the vaults. So we're gonna get that going as well uh, We're gonna have to we're gonna have to start producing more power go my beauty All right, we're gonna be building a couple more um Steam engines, just a couple. We're gonna need a lot of blaze burners for this project, that's for sure. All right, well, it took a minute to figure it out, but now I got all these running, which is great. I 
it's just about time we put in the fluid tanks. Look at this space, man. This is crazy. We've got four massive fluid tanks in here. This is going to be quite something. Six hundred and fifty thousand SU. So together with the rest of our system, we should be producing eight hundred thousand SU. Oh man, we got some headroom now. Look at this. Oh, it is laggy, but dude, does it ever work? Now we got way more space to do stuff for fun and activities, like um, for example, automating some ammunition. Which is what I wanted to do in this episode, but I don't necessarily know that's going to happen. There is one more thing I want to do though, and it's actually pretty sweet. We're going to be building an entirely new farm, and I wonder if we can squeeze it in right here. If we go back further, can we go back further? Oh yeah, we have endless space back here. Uh, what we're going to be making is a machine that makes tough. And tough is actually not the easiest thing to get because it requires uh, andesite, diorite, and lava to make too tough. So lucky for us, uh, we're, we're already automating andesite and diorite, right? So we can just pull from our current system to, to make this happen. And then all we need to do is crush the tough down. This should go relatively well. Um, let's make a hole, a big hole. All right, we got our little room here. So we got these two big vaults and they're gonna be holding our diorite and andesite respectively. Uh, but I ran out of iron sheets, so I gotta go and make some more. And while we're waiting for our iron sheets to get pressed out, let's, uh, let's actually set up our, um, intake for these two, the, for these two units. Now we're gonna be using, uh, Tom's simple storage to fill these. And we're gonna be using the, uh, inventory cable connectors. The two filtered cable connectors are gonna go here and here. One's gonna be andesite, the other one's gonna be diorite. And these are gonna connect to our overall Tom's storage system, which will also be connected to um, these chests. Basic inventory hoppers. We we'll put one here, and then we can just connect these up together like that. And we do the exact same thing over here with our diorite. Makes things real easy when you got pre-existing systems. Uh, now over here, we should be able to just hook up these item vaults to the storage unit here. And this should be filling up with diorite. There it goes. Let's go see how, yeah, okay, iron sheets. We got a ton of them now, let's go. We're doing this because I don't have any copper. And that's kind of an important part of uh, automating ammunition, right? All right, now we're gonna need to get andesite and diorite into a basin. And the way we are gonna do that is be honest, I'm not sure. I think this is going to turn out to be a pretty cool build. You just wait. Okay, that's a heck of a lot of belts. Okay, so now every second line has andesite going to it from this vault. Now we need the diorite. We'll probably just use andesite funnels. That looks pretty sweet. <laughs> that looks pretty dang cool. I kind of want to put lights on this... Uh, these basins here are actually what's going to make our, our tough, and they're going to need mixers. Instead of just using the normal mechanical mixers, we could make some like brass mechanical mixers, and I think these actually mix more items. They're a little bit faster. If the recipe only uses items. Okay, ours, ours doesn't only use items, it uses fluids as well, so we're going to have to go the slow method. Now, one other thing that this system is going to need is uh, fluids. It's going to need lava. And what's kind of cool is that I think, we, I think this is a line of lava right here. So we can just hook right up into that. This can just go straight into the wall. Look at me, dude, I nailed it. I'm hoping that this, is, uh, this shaft is fast enough. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we will find out as we go. Okay, that's connected. These should all fill up with lava now, correct? Do 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 yay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Okay, there's that. We need ourselves a clutch. Oh, this is gonna be such a cool machine when it's done. 
Just want to make sure that this is all operating in the right direction before we get too crazy. I don't want all this andesite and diorite spilling out in the wrong way. Yeah, I like that. There we go. That's looking nice. So this system is going to be making flint as well as other things. So we're going to want to get a trash can, a couple of them, so that we can garbage all the flint that's leaving the system. Ooh, we need more polished rose quartz. Dang it. I should get one of these. I should get one of these mechanical belt grinders. That'd be kind of handy. I need a lot more redstone. Well, I have some redstone, but I can make more if I have a potion of strength. How much, how much is one potion of strength, do you think? Is it a thousand millibuckets? We'll find out in a second. Like right now. It's 250 millibuckets. And then I take my cinder flower and I stick it right here. That'll start making us redstone. Um, and it only takes 25 millibuckets to... Hmm. That is not the best return. For that kind of work, it's not great. But it was good to test it out just to see what it was, just to see what it's like. We're gonna get a mechanical belt grinder. And a sandpaper belt, mechanical belt grinder. I've never used one of these before. I hope it works the way that I suspect it will. Oh, that's so convenient. Oh man, that's way better than doing it by hand. Oh yes, okay, I'm happy with that, okay. Let's get back to what we were doing. Oh, right. The other thing we're going to need is more uh, kelp. There we go. Three more stacks of kelp. Oh, we can finally get back to what we were doing. This is what we're doing. If if uh, you crush tough, it's really cool. You get gold, copper, zinc, and iron. Now, we already have three or four of these, so you might be wondering why I'm even doing this. The gold, uh, the gold will be nice to have more of. The copper is the main thing that I'm doing this for because uh, we need copper for automating ammunition. Makes sense. Are, uh, are we done? I'm, we're not done. We're not done. Uh, this still needs power over here. It's so symmetrical. It's lovely. I love seeing a symmetrical build. That is so cool. The only thing we got to do, I think, is take a little cogwheel and stick it right there. It's not even full speed yet. Oh, is it not? Oh, the mixers probably aren't fast enough. That's what it is. Oh, oops. This needs a, uh, oh, I see. Oops, that's my bad. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. You have got to be kidding me. All this goes away. Because I didn't even check if Tuff will get ground up by a millstone, which it won't. That's my bad. That's, that's, that's a spicy meatball right there. Okay, this is gonna go into two lines. These two lines, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I have to get rid of all of this. We're gonna need some crushing wheels. We're gonna need two over here and two over here. Okay, that was actually a lot easier to set up than I thought it would be. Now I think this is all operating properly, I think. I just realized there is kind of a way to make this faster. I don't know that I necessarily need to though because Well, because I just don't let's try running it but at a slow pace. Oh, right Yeah, this unit all runs out of lava because it's all powered by this. I've got a better idea actually for this There we go. Now the lava should still be flowing Good, and it's just powered by this unit. It's just, it's all powered by the same unit, so it'll turn itself off. It's independent, all the power is independent. I have the power for the lava, the same as the, for this, but I, I should know better not to do that. I did keep this, this, this going across here though, because I thought it looked cool. Nice. Oh my goodness, okay, that's, that makes me happy. That honestly ain't half bad. It's not perfectly efficient. I think that I could actually turn these sideways. Like I don't have any crushing wheels, but you can like, you can place them like, like this, like sideways. So then I could have uh, crushing wheels for each lane, but I didn't really think of that while I was doing this, unfortunately. So it could be more efficient. It could be a bit faster, but it is what it is. It's not terrible, actually. Maybe I'll make it more efficient later. That's a problem for another time. Today, I got I did what I wanted to do. The lag down here is getting kind of out of hand. Everything is 20 frames per second. I hope you enjoy watching this slideshow. Whew, ay caramba. Okay, 
We got our window to our new, our brand new system. I need a lever. I think uh, if I was smarter, I probably would have fast tracked this a lot sooner. Like I could have made the andesite, this machine, right? This machine. And then I could have made this machine. And that would have dealt with my iron, my gold. It would have dealt with everything for, for me. If you have enough resources gathered initially to not need an iron farm, you can make this. And this is actually, this is really, really good. This is really, really good. I can't, I can't actually, I can't actually kind of can't believe how good this is. We've done a lot today. We've done an absolute ton of stuff. And I'm looking forward to the next episode because we are going to be like, we did this. We built this whole thing today. We did a bunch of stuff in the colony. Man, this is like two episodes in one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I really got to stop. I really got to get off this game. I've been playing for like 10 or 12 hours today. It's been crazy. This is too much Minecraft, man. Too much. Look, I'm at 60 frames when I'm looking over here, but when I'm looking over here, it drops to like 30. <laughs> That's wild. That's wild.